Hi, and welcome to a quick look at the user interface in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. So here, working from the top down, I've got an app bar. This black band across the top that might look quite familiar if you've used CRM or other Dynamics 365 products. That app bar gives you quick access to Tell Me, which is the search function, to help you find different pages and functionality within the system. The cog will get you onto your settings. Let you either change the page via different methods or here you can change your role center, move between different companies, change your work date and so on. And then we have the question mark to give you access to the online help functionality and other feedback pages for example. And finally the symbol for the user logon. So I click, add the option to sign out. So I'm signed into a demo environment here. Flowing down from that app bar, we have the we have the command bar. Now this forms a ribbon across the top of the page, and actually is different for different users because you'll be assigned a role center that will aim to bring particular functionality to you to make you more efficient. So here I'm a sales focused role center, and my focus is unsurprisingly on the sales master data and documents that might or have been created. When I'm working from the command bar, I can actually pin the underlying options down to stay and work with those options. When I pin, the system takes me to the first option on that pin section and I can work with that data. I can at any point just unpin that to go back to the standard view. At any point in the user interface, I can click the name of the company I'm working in to return back to my home screen, back to my role center. So each of these on the top, on the command bar, has a different drop down showing all the sub options. So it'll be the master data and the transactions, either in progress or posted in this case, for the data. At all times in the role center, I'll see a second level to the command bar that's the features that I'm expected to use mostly as part of my role center. Within that, you might see this double headed arrow on a few positions, which will allow me to show more things across the screen. Moving down, there's a headline part. So once I start to actually use the system, this will pull out using AI some specific trends it spots within the data. So our most profitable customer, our best selling items, that kind of stuff. In the actions section, I've got quick access to create new documents. And I've got these little drop down here for quick access to usually reports or maybe some configurable setup. Underneath this header section, I then move into activities. And what I've got is a number of these queues, which act like a, a filtered view. So if I see I've got six orders here ready to ship, if I simply click that, and it takes me straight through to the list view, showing those six specific orders. And again, simply click the company name to head back. These also can have sentiment bands on them, the red, amber, green, to give you an idea sort of an element of, of KPIs, key performance indicators that can be set there. Scroll a bit further down underneath those queues, here we have the insights section, which consists of a number of parts. Now each of these sections here, each of these squares, sort of in a three by two grid, can serve a different purpose and can be removed, but can be interacted with separately. So for example, my customers can give me quick access to key accounts, and I can add in an extra customer easily by going manage list. Tell it I'd like to also keep track of customer 40,000 as well. Add that in, it shows me some key data. From here, I've got quick access to any of these key accounts that I'm always interested in. Rather than having to go to the list page and then choose the card I want, I can either click my assist edit and say open, or simply click the number. That will take me straight through to the card page for this customer. To come back off any card page, I can press escape, I can hit the back arrow, or just click the gray bit here, and it melts away and I'm back at the page I came from. So each of these will work similarly. I'll have a degree of options from the little drop down for each of these parts. There's a Power BI app I can embed and have that work within the system. 
There's a separate video showing that. And there might be some charts. I can either choose different charts or choose the parameter the chart works with. So here I can play with various different output options for what this chart will show. The same as my customers I can do with my items and keep a close track on certain items. And then finally I've got the report inbox. So rather than requesting a report on demand, I can schedule it and have it come into this inbox automatically.